konnichiwa, ohayo, o konbawa to anybody out here listening to this. As you can tell right now, we are still back in my studio in where I used to make music and just make some rambunctious shit. And now we're just talking over stuff. So now, as the title says of this episode, today we are going to talk about relationships. Oh boy, oh boy, wind up, wind up, ladies and gentlemen, because right now there might be some ranting involved with this one. All right, so let's get to it. Relationships. What is a relationship? Now, this is actually a good question. Let's let's look up the textbook definition of what a relationship is. Let's see. Relationship. We're going to go to the Oxford Dictionary, not sponsored by the way. Come on, internet. All right, relationship, it is a noun. The condition or fact of being related, connecting, connection or association. There is another, the second definition is connection by blood or marriage, kingship. And the third one is a particular type of connection existing between people related or having dealings with each other. That is the textbook definition of a relationship. Now, what do we consider a relationship nowadays? We have relationships with our family. We have relationships with our friends. And a lot of us are seeking relationships with a life partner, whether it be a man or a female whatever your preference is i personally like women that's my cup of tea i like my spicy tea by the way little spicy puerto rican women those be the death of me (laughs) anyways so what is it that goes wrong with relationships nowadays so off of personal experience i can just say confidently that the lack of communication is something that plays a huge huge part in relationships the lack of communication is essential for building trust and if there is a lack of communication then there will be a lack of trust and therefore you're just not gonna want to deal with your partner there's there's a lot that goes into that. Communication could just be not saying in the sense of you need to report to a person 24-7 what you're doing or constantly or what you know what I mean? Like you don't have to report to a person at every single given time. Like, oh, hey, babe, I'm doing this. Oh, hey, now I'm going to do this. No, no, no. Like, yeah, that can be OK. It can be. It can be a sense of possessive. Um, some people can call that controlling, but the other perspective of that would be just like, there's just a solid communication there. It's just like your part, you, you feel comfortable knowing that your partner knows that what you, where you are and what you're doing and that you're safe. Trust me. I would love that in a woman, you know, just let her, just, she let me know like, Hey babe, I'm just out here. Just not being promiscuous and just doing what I got to do. So that's something that can go wrong with relationships. Um, Another thing that I have noticed in today's day and age of dating is that a lot of people have really unrealistic expectations as far as what they want their partner to be. Now, an unrealistic expectation would more so be that you are seeking someone that quote unquote completes you and that is that's a big no-no right there off rip that is a big no-no you need to find a way to fulfill yourself and then have that same amount of love that you have for yourself to be able to share it with others giving is receiving there is truth to that And then there's a fine line between self-love and being egotistical. And someone can not be able to cross that line fairly easily. I know I have a tough time dealing with that line where I know that 
Some of the things that I do is out of self-love. And then there are a lot of times where I can just say that it's ego and it's pride. And those, that's, that's a sin. That's a, that's a, that's not a good thing. To be too prideful is just not a good thing. I mean, I acknowledge that I can be a good person, or at least I think I'm a good person. And all that, villains don't ever see the wrong in their eyes. Let's just go with that. Villains never see the wrong in their eyes. They always think that they're right, that they're perfect. And that's that. I guess an, uh, another thing that we can say that is not easy to deal with in today's day and age of dating is the usage of social media, there it goes again, and dating apps. The internet is, again, just a beautiful, beautiful tool where it's allowed people to find people that are like-minded. You know, there's there's Pokemon communities, there's gaming communities, there's political communities, there's people that like fighting, there's there's a community for everybody out in the internet. There's communities for those that want to seek relationships, those that just want to better themselves, and there's just communities for everywhere. Now, the issue we would say is that social media and dating apps has created the sense of that there are way you have easy access to multiple options if that's the case now there's nothing there it's going to be very hypocritical but there is nothing wrong with choosing through options it is actually a good thing if you have options because you don't want to just jump into the first thing that comes your way and you could just see like oh this is a blessing from god well it could just be a test from god as well too you could just look at it how it is um yeah, there's just there's just a lot of there's a lot of things that go into it. The the social media plays into the lack of communication, the lack of trust because I I know, trust me. I've been in a relationship where it has been not a good thing that my ex-girlfriends have have uh have seen me like half-naked women on the internet. And I'm not gonna lie, them bitches do be looking good too. So I'm just like, hey, but hey, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I mean? And then, then you just try to flip it around, but it's about, but you like the, but you like these dudes. And it's just like, but it's not the same. Sorry, got carried away, <laughs> lost the happy. <laughs> and there's just a, there's just a lot of things that go into relationships nowadays. I think that the biggest thing that I have learned right now is to fully express what you want. You let them know off rip is just like, listen, I want this, this, and this. And if you're going to mess with me, I expect this, this, and this. And if they don't like it, that's cool. Just keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Don't even go chasing after them. Remember Proverbs 31, three, do not waste your strength on women for those that have ruined Kings. We getting biblical in here. Your boy's been trying to study the Bible a little bit more. Trying to walk with God. And I guess that would probably be like the biggest thing that can play a huge factor into why relationships don't work. And it's going to sound very uh, radical, but we just need God in our lives. We really just need God in our lives. If... You don't have God in your life, and it's not gonna. Sit, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, "Oh, I have God in my life, so I'm, so I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to." No, 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 no. That's not the case. I still am a sinner. I still can be a disobedient child, and it's not easy walking in a path of light with so much darkness and temptation around you. It's not. Trust me. I would love to be a slut again. And just whore myself out to multiple different women and just have mindless sex. But, like I said in the previous episode, a path of revenge only leaves you empty. What is that going to accomplish? You're just going to feel like shit. Personally, you got to just take things as it is. Protect, your, protect yourself, protect your energy, protect your body. We were made so that we will only have like one partner. Look at goose or geese. Or swans, which one, whatever one of those. Like, they get one partner for life. And if that partner dies, they literally die of depression. 
That's like the most human thing I've ever heard in an animal. Take a think about it. So there's a so there's a lot of things that go into relationships nowadays. So I would say just just wait. Just wait. Wait on it. Wait for whoever actually gives a damn about you to show you they give a damn about you. And Sometimes it comes in the form of a woman in a relationship that actually gives a fuck about you. Uh, speaking from personal experience, by the way. And then it just conflicts because of the fact that you know she cares about you. You care about her, but she's in a relationship and you have to respect that. You have to. You have to. So, sorry, lost the happy. <laughs> but there's, there's, that's just what it is. That's just what it is with dating. It's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect. It's work. People assume that they want the perfect partner and that's not the case. Nobody comes perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. Only God is perfect. I'm going back to that again. So the reality is, is that a lot of people want a perfect partner social media again has given the illusion of what a perfect partner is supposed to be like oh you go on vacations you play pranks on each other you do this that and the third but that's just a show it's a facade you don't know what goes on behind closed doors and you don't know exactly if these people are actually truly happy with their relationship and truly thriving and being abundant you don't know that so the reality is is that Whoever is going to come into your life, they're definitely going to be a broken person. They're going to have traumas in their life that they're still overcoming if they don't want to go to therapy. This guy, this guy right here. I don't want to go to therapy, but I know I got some major issues. But it's part of it. It's part of it. They, some A lot of people come broken. They have really big traumas in their life that they don't want to, I guess, get over. Or at least it's tough for them to get over. There's a lot of bad habits. There's a lot of bad habits. So that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Dating is not a perfect thing. It is work. And all good things come to those who wait. And it's always darkest before dawn. That's that's the, the cold hard truth. If you want to have a thriving relationship, you are going to go through peaks and valleys. You're going to go through peaks where it's going to be the happiest times of your life. And then you're going to go through valleys where it's going to be the darkest times of your life. And then in that test to the relationship itself is a test to see whether or not you guys are meant for each other. They always say that a woman's test is when her man has nothing and she still say, stays. And a man's test to his woman is when he has everything and still remains loyal to her. And I'm just going to end things on that note. So this has been Wisdom with West. And it's a short little one about relationships. Sayonara.